It's time for fiscal sanity in Washington. Let's go back to the facts. Senator Fisher's core campaign promise to you was to go to Washington, cut spending, and get our national debt under control. Not only did she not cut spending, she made the problem worse. She has voted yes to three bloated budgets. We've balanced our budget and we've provided tax relief. That's what we do in Nebraska. And that's what we need to do in Washington as well. My priorities are the priorities that I hear from Nebraskans all across this state. And we're concerned about a $15 trillion debt that cannot continue. We have to stop this. But there's a number of things that we can do to get spending under control, to, to move forward and start to begin to reduce the debt that's a security risk to this country. And I would take those ideas to Washington and work with colleagues there in order to achieve it. We have to address spending if we're really going to talk about the problems. I was the first one to take her on in 2014, calling her out for her lies on fiscal sanity. Look what just happened. The Republicans kicked the ball down the road another two years, 75% of them. And they preached balanced budget to you forever. I'm a strong fiscal conservative. We will take it on. And we will not bow to the party leaders that are killing us, nor the party. They're in it for their power. They quit responding to the people. Fast forward to 2015. I couldn't believe my eyes. She operated as president of the Senate for Senator McConnell and Senator Reid. They pushed a $1.1 trillion budget that funded executive amnesty, another unconstitutional violation, and she sat with the gavel in her hand and passed it in under a minute, allowing no debate, no amendments, no objections. She works for the establishment. And with two minutes of debate, equally divided in the usual form prior to each vote. No objection. Not, no objection so ordered. And now fast forward to the latest budget. She voted yes to advance the resolution that Senator Paul came out and said was a travesty that was going to bloat our budget to $30 trillion. How can you let this happen if you believe $15 trillion is a security risk? They are going to spend more than Obama. The more things change, the more they seem to stay the same. Republicans won the White House. Republicans control the Senate. Republicans control the House. And what will the first order of business be for the new Republican majority? To pass a budget that never balances. To pass a budget that will add $9.7 trillion of new debt over 10 years. Is that really what we campaigned on? Is that really what the Republican Party represents? Our first order of business will be a budget that never balances. A budget that adds $9.7 trillion. Both these parties, as I warned you, in Ashland are spendaholics, and I'm tired of it. Today we have a different crisis. We have a party of spendaholics and a party of spendalots. We have got to get our budget under control, and it's the paramount issue we need to come together and solve, and I'm ready to do it. So I'm going to make a pledge. I am going to vote no on any budget that does not freeze spending until revenues catch up to expenditures. The Rand Paul plan will work. Follow me for fiscal sanity. Our legacy, what we tell our grandkids is on the line. This can't happen.